So Susan wrote in and said, how do I play like I practice? I have so many issues with my mental game. My play and practice is awesome, but I step on the court and I lose everything I know. All right, Susan, we're gonna narrow down exactly why that is. And here's, first of all, we need to get this out of the way. I think this is a, a general overarching assumption that tennis players have. And that's basically, if I feel good and hit great, great shots in practice, then I'll also feel good and hit great shots in matches. And they kind of feel like, well, they're both tennis, right? Like a forehand's a forehand, right? And a, a backhand's a backhand. Well, no, actually, <laughs> not at all. It's kind of two completely different skill sets. And let's, let's talk about why. So here's what the experience is like usually for tennis players practicing. Usually we're comfortable during practice in terms of like, where we're, where we're going, the location, the courts, maybe the, the club or the park that we're going to, it's familiar surroundings. There's a familiar partner usually. It's, it's not very often people show up to practice with a total stranger. So you at least know this person a little bit. There's some familiarity there with the person you're practicing with. Generally, uh, players are doing controlled drills, patterns, or targets, or they're playing some points back and forth, but even then it's predictable because we know that person. And so the, the pace of the ball going back and forth, the tempo of the rallies, the, the spins being used, the depths, the targets, we, all, we, we always have at least a little bit of familiarity with that other person on the other side. And so what's the point of practice? The point of practice is to build your skills, develop better habits, develop tools that you can have in your toolbox for matches and to kind of build confidence and rhythm and, and feel like when you walk off the court that you know what you're doing as a tennis player. So this is kind of the point of practice. Like the point of practice for most people is not to be uncomfortable and tear themselves down and to feel bad and to feel like, I don't know what I'm doing out there. Obviously that's not the point of practice for the vast majority of people, right? Now, let's contra contrast that with the experience in playing matches. Let's look at all those same things. A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times we're going to like an away location or like a, a third party, you know, Switzerland, like so a different park or a different court or a different club. We're going to play maybe a tournament or we're traveling to play sectionals or nationals or something like that. There's a lot of discomfort in just not being familiar with the surroundings. Then we have literally an opposing, like an opponent, like somebody whose whole job is to try to poke holes in our game and to try to make us feel uncomfortable. Like that's literally the point of what they're trying to do. And so we have this threatening force on the other side of the net. It's chaos and random because we've probably never seen this person before, not always. Sometimes you'll play the same person multiple times. But if you're playing like a tournament or you're playing a league match or something like that, usually it's somebody we haven't played before. And it's totally up to our opponent, that opposing force, what they want to do. And so there's not a lot of predictability. Anything is possible. Style is unknown until we get into the match. Their targets, their strengths and weaknesses, the depth that they hit, the spin that they hit, the pace that they hit, the rhythm that they hit the ball with, the rhythm and tempo between points, how much time, the whole thing is just a black box. And we have no idea what's gonna happen. So just, just think about this really quickly. So the practice experience, this is generally true, right? Of course, there, there's gonna be some variation and different people like to challenge themselves a little more in practice. and. Some people, when they play matches, it's a little more familiar than others, but generally speaking, hopefully you, you understand the, the contrast that I'm trying to, to strike here. The practice experience, everything is familiar, comfortable, controlled, predictable. The point is confidence. And in matches, uncomfortable, threatening, random, unpredictable. And the point is to test yourself and to challenge yourself and basically show up and say, all right, I'm gonna find out for real, for real today like, what do I really have in my toolbox? And what skills do I really truly own as a, a tennis player? So this isn't a mistake on this slide. What we need to do, this is the match experience qualities, right? What we need to do is ask ourselves the question, how do we bring these things into practice? So these are all the same things that happen in match play. How do we inject some of this into our practice? 
so that the only time that we come face to face with it isn't just when it really counts and it's, and it's match play and the environment's completely different. The whole point of the environment and matches is to make us uncomfortable. Like that's literally the point is to be uncomfortable. Like that's the whole point of what our opponent is trying to do on the other side. So how can we bring some of this discomfort into practice? Well, here's a couple suggestions just to kind of get the juices flowing a little bit and to start thinking about it and maybe come away with a couple ideas here. First of all, inject pressure, stress, and anxiety on purpose into practice play. I'm not saying this has to be every practice, the whole practice, you know, the whole time is just all about making you as uncomfortable as possible. But think about little ways that you can do that. So keep track of score. Have there be a winner and a loser more often in practice. Add consequences. Somebody maybe has to do burpees or push-ups or some line touch sprints or buys the beers afterwards or buys dinner or lunch afterwards or makes a social media post saying how great the other person is or it's something that ideally you really don't want to happen so that it creates that little bit of stress, that little bit of anxiety. And think about maybe changing your location, going, going to a completely different tennis court at a totally different place than you're used to, making it feel different and new. Maybe ask people to come and watch or maybe record yourself and post it on the internet. These are all ways that you can inject pressure and stress and a little bit of variability into your practice. Uh, other ideas, set up games, patterns, and opponents that you don't like. Uh, back before I played uh, Ben, AKA most exhausting player, Scott and I, Scott who, uh, AKA angry old man, he and I both played Ben and we did a couple training sessions together where we mimicked Ben's style of play. Now, Scott and I are both pretty like aggressive attacking mentality kind of players. But we sat back and we did a bunch of like side spin and like loopy uh, shots, hit with a lot of height and depth, and just basically push the ball into the middle of the court. Like we would never actually play that way. But to help the other person, A, leave their comfort zone, and B, experience something different and have a little bit of controversy on the other side and get them to practice overcoming that controversy, we played like Ben to help each other out because we knew we were training for a specific opponent. So think about ways that you can set up patterns, different opponents, different games. If you hate the net, then in your next practice session, play a bunch of points where you hit the ball short and the other person has to approach and take turns feeding short back and forth. Figure out what you really dislike and inject a little bit of that discomfort and you'll be better in matches. So ultimately, here's the, here's the goal is feeling good and hitting great shots in uncomfortable, challenging environments, and not just during practice. You need to put some kind of discomfort and some kind of obstacle in the way during practice more often, and then it's not gonna be so weird when you go and play a match. It's not gonna feel like it's a night and day difference, and like, holy cow, what am I doing? It's not gonna feel so foreign anymore, and you'll be able to hit your best shots when it really matters the most because you prepared on purpose that way in the first place.